but uh, of course so you can have an idea what part do you need when you buy an A shaft it, it's gonna be better because everything is a rebalance so used to be on the same si safe side A shaft not A shaft counterway needle bearings flat chain gear oil pump gear So yeah, make sure you have that. Now let me go ahead and start cleaning one of the rotors. I'll be right back. Alright, so far one of the faces is clean. One clean, two more to go. This one is clean. So, it's getting lucky and it's looking good. So we have the other face, it's looking clean, as so we can see the markings here, uh, it has an R, which is the rear one, uh, 545, it's looking good, it has some little water spots there, but that's nothing, because remember what does the current compression is the apex seals, so two faces, they're good, one more to go. Looking good. It still has some little water marks there. But you know what? Uh, to the right person, let's say if anyone has these rotors and is looking at, uh, to make a good build, the way you lightweight these ones is by CNC or any other method. They take uh, they take material from here, which is let's say as as the little one is already polished or clean. They shape this part down flat. Boom. So um, even they had a deep pocket or deep uh, damage, it's manageable for those uh, high performance shop or any other uh, engine builder that's try to do a lightweight rotor. So that's why the shape from here to here, that's how it will be looked. So imagine this part that is crumb, imagine it being shaved or CNC. Uh, I've, I've seen these uh, people, they do it all the time. Fools from Rex, fools from uh, Richard Vizcasillas. Uh, most of the, uh, the Puerto Ricans, those guys from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, those Boricuas, they're always doing a good quality builds. Also, those guys from Australia. And whenever I have extra parts, I have people calling from uh, Puerto Rico or Australia. I'm always shipping parts. I need some parts, so whenever they hit me up, they want me to uh, find some parts for them. So, yeah, you can do a million things with rotary parts. So this, part, uh, this side is already looking good. Let me finish it and let's see how it's gonna look.
come right here. This is how the pockets looks. The faces. What a difference, right? And I'm like halfway done. I still have to remove the apex seals. I still have to corner seal the springs. But it's looking good. I really kind of did the face. Again, this one can be even lightweight. Get some little triangle from here. Shape that one down. Shape that one down. Shape that one down. Still have to take the oil rings off. This one has some really bouncing. It's pretty good. To the other side. So I'm really halfway done. I still have to clean it. Take all these off. Clean the grooves. Take the side seals off. And seems like this one had a solid corner seal. Oh no, they're not solid, they're two pieces. Let's see the bearing, how it looks. Bearing is not too bad, so it means it was way really good balance. It has some really good oil. Pressure on everything was good. It's pretty good. So let me go ahead and remove the apex seals. Let me remove the side seals, springs, all the goodies. These are gonna be stuck, so the way we're gonna get it out, we're gonna try to hit her in here. Move another apex seal. Same thing is gonna happen, it's gonna break in pieces. So we're gonna use this one to remove the other one. Just put them on the side. Get the other piece out. Get the springs up. Yeah. Oh, we have Lucky on this one. Piojos. So we got Lucky on this one. 